Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and today we've got the Chris Jericho Defining Moments action figure by Mattel. And this thing looks pretty great. Two accessories, one World Heavyweight title, one WWF title. And this Chris Jericho, his outfit currently, on the side there, you see him rocking the two belts. This was from Vengeance 2001, where The Rock, Y2J, Stone Cold, and Kurt Angle we're all fighting to be determined the first undisputed champion. And wouldn't you know it, our boy Chris Jericho beat both Stone Cold and The Rock all in one night. A few months later, Triple H would beat him at WrestleMania 18, but for that one night, he was truly the best in the world. The packaging, by the way, really unique. You see him raising his two arms in the air, and you don't really see much posing with a lot of the Marvel Legends or other lines and I like it when they pose. You see Chris Jericho right there at the top, CJ, CJ, and like I mentioned before you got a nice photo of the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, Chris Jericho. So Chris Jericho, you know, he is a big deal. Multiple time world champion, record setting intercontinental champion, so let's take him out of the package, find out what makes him the best in the world, and I hope you'll join me. I did want to point out that we have two great photos of Chris Jericho winning both the heavyweight title from The Rock and the WWF title from Stone Cold. And I do like to rip into packaging, but I would be very upset with myself if I didn't point out this great packaging detail. And here's Chris Jericho out of the packaging. And he looks pretty nice. First things first, I just want to mention that these title belts are glamorous. These things look so good. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, I bought this figure just to get my hands on these two classic belts. The gold looks incredible on both of them. And I can't see buying any other wrestling figures unless they come with wrestling belts. And I've got the NXT and the European titles. But these two, they are mega classics. The old WCW and the old WWF, they just look so good. It's a shame they can't sell the WWF logo anymore. This Scratch logo, it's iconic. It's classic. And this one, you could tell that they reused a mold from a previous toy because even though this was at that time, the WCW title in 2001, there's a little WWE symbol right at the top there, and that was not there back in 2001, I assure you. I watched. Putting the titles to the side, look at them over there. God, they're so good. Five on those. Just, I love those. Bam! Chris Jericho, baby. And this Chris Jericho looks pretty great. I like the knee pads, the elbow pad he comes with. And the elbow pad does get in the way in terms of the elbow working, but it does flex with the elbows, which I like. I'm glad that they allowed it to do that. Admittedly, with the ab crunch, it is a little odd. Just the big, I don't know, it looks like an Omega symbol. He's got the 360 waist, bicep swivel, hinge on the hand. Always a pleasure to see that. He doesn't come with extra hands, but he does have one open and one punch in power. Turn in the head, is a bit difficult just due to the hair, but it does go all the way around. Yeah, it looks all right. Double jointed knees at least. He's got a thigh swivel. A little bit of a range with the leg, kind of goes out a little bit. Boot cut, ankle pivot, and it does go up and down. It's a little tight though. He is wearing his outfit from Vengeance 2001, and it's got kind of a tribal, chrome blue look to it with a yellow outline. Looks very Chris Jericho, especially for that time. On the boots, it does say Jericho, running all the way down. Jericho on the left, and Jericho on the right. Now the real question is, do these belts fit on Chris Jericho? Let's find out. Let's put him on the first one. And this was the first world title he ever won. He beat The Rock for it, I believe, at No Mercy. It does fit. 
it's a little loose, but he's got room to grow into it, you know? And we'll put the WWF title right there, and he's looking great. Looks like he's ready for a night on the town. I think the main thing that I'm not so sure on is the face. It just doesn't look all the way like Chris Jericho. And here's your size comparison between Samoa Joe, who we've reviewed before, and Chris Jericho from the Defining Moments Elite Series. Now, they're comparable. I mean, enough said. They're all the same line. Let's see if Chris Jericho can maybe apply the walls of Jericho to Samoa Joe. Not too bad. The look is definitely there. It's definitely more of a lion tamer than it is a walls of Jericho, but it's, it's definitely there. So what do I think about Chris Jericho? I think for the belts and the price I got him at, he's an excellent pickup. $40, though? That just seems a little crazy. MSRP? At least that's what it said on the box. So take it with a grain of salt. He's a fine figure. He's not... He doesn't feel like a collectible, though. He just feels like a basic action figure. And that's not a bad thing. Toys are meant to be played with. And this definitely seems like something worth giving to someone who's a big wrestling fan. And they'd have a lot of imaginary matches with. I just can't see myself spending $40 on this and thinking I got my money's worth. Three out of five. That's not bad. It's not the best in the world, but it's definitely worth your time. And these belts? Oh man. Let's talk more about these belts. Let's actually, no. No. I don't, I don't want to get started on those again. They're great. The end. So with that, uh, wait a minute. What? The Toy Temple list. Did you make this, Chris Jericho? Did you do that? Was that a yes? I, I don't talk toy. What? All right, who made your list? Who, who? <gasps> you jerk. So hit like, hit subscribe, and remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.